going on? This is Political Media. I'm Lamar. <sighs> Georgia's being uh, in the news quite a bit as of late, not for crime. That's Dallas, where I live. It's ridiculous. It seems like we're becoming the crime capital of the world. So I feel like Chicago or Detroit in here. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about Georgia. Georgia has been in the news because of a uh, runoff or the or because of the election in January, um, that January 5th actually, to see who's going to have control of the United States Senate. So one of the contenders in this is Reverend Raphael Warnock. He's a pastor, preacher of the same church where Martin Luther King was a, was the preacher was the pastor. Um, he is going at it with his uh, adversary, the person who who, who he's uh, running against, Kelly Loeffler, Republican senator. Um, and what's gotten him, what's getting him, is some of his old sermons are coming to bite him in the ass. And it just depends on how you look at it. Some may think it's going to hurt him. Some may think it's going to help him. Um, I do feel like it's going to hurt him as it relates to the white demographic. Um, you know, when listen, the black church. We, if you, if you're black, you, or if you've been to a black church or been a member of a black church, you know, there's a lot of stuff that said over the pulpit. Sometimes that may not be too good for you politically. In the name of Jesus, Amen. So, <laughs> particularly some of the stuff he he said, which he, now his uh, opponent is definitely using against him and other Republicans, or some are even calling for him to to step down and stop running, uh, which he definitely shouldn't do that. So, and this is all the way from back in 2011. Something he said he had a sermon entitled "When Truth Meets Power." Uh, he talked about God and the military. They call, they're calling it the God and military sermon. He called on America to turn away from the pursuit of power in favor of a life of service. And he says, no one can serve God and military. Right there, boom, you lose all your veterans. You lose all your folks that love the military, particularly the white vets. You, you lose them right there, particularly any independents uh, that are leaning and have, have a strong um, feeling towards the military and any Republicans that were having a little bit of white guilt or Trump guilt that were thinking about voting black, you'll lose them right here. And that's back in 2011 when he said it, but it's, it's rehashed now. Um, his opponent, Kelly Loeffler, demands an apology. She says um, that's a disgrace. It's disgusting. It's a disgrace to veterans. Um, Wow. And he responded, the sermon was based on a Bible verse. No man shall serve two masters. I heard that one before. I can't recall where it is. And where is it? Timothy, Second Timothy, Thessalonians, Barcelona. I, I don't I don't know where it is, but it's in there. I've heard it. I, prom I promise I've heard it. Um, but anyway, this election is becoming quite heated. And it's a very important one. If he wins, well, the Democrats have to win both of the, the Georgia races for the Democrats to have control of the Senate. Not full control, but it'll be 50-50. And when there's 50-50 from the Democrats and the Republicans, guess who makes the decision? The Vice President of the United States. So that means Kamala Harris will be the boss, the, the, the HNIC, if you will, the decision maker, the decider, all right? And um, that would be interesting. Again, this election happened on January 5th. Um, and Loeffler is also attacking another one of his sermons, um, one that said America's need to repent for its worship of whiteness. Stuff so comes back to bite your ass what you say on the pool pit, don't it? At that point, you can you put you kind of isolate, ostracize yourself from white voters. Oh, and this is Georgia. Come on, you're in the South. So this stuff, while it sounds good on that pulpit, when you, ah, ooh, America needs to repent or is a worship of the white devil. While it sounds good up there and people shouting and dancing and going crazy and bananas, but then when it comes to politics, Reverend, <sighs> But it's quite interesting that she's uh, going through all of his sermons. Perhaps she gets saved. This is Political Media. I'm Lamar. Peace out.